takes this one hard out to left center. Carrying out deep, could it be? It is gone. And Jacobs with the punishing kill. A two-run shot that ties the game. Hyatt hits it over, and she's going to have a kill. Over to Boyd, inside to Gaddis. Then move, puts it up, takes the foul, and knocks it down. Juan Connor takes the three, puts it up, knocks it down. Welcome to another edition of the Storm Report. It's the women's volleyball season preview for Southern Nazarene University. David Noblet alongside Kevin Ingram to discuss the upcoming season. Coach Ingram, you know, a Southern Nazarene big news as they uh, finish up the NCAA Division II membership process. What does this mean uh, for your program? Well, it means that uh, we can finally compete for that conference championship that uh, we've been waiting to compete for. Um, we had a great season last year and uh, would have put ourselves in a great position going into that tournament, but weren't eligible for that championship. Uh, still went ahead and went on to the NCCA um, national tournament and had got some good experience there. But um, definitely something we've been building towards for for the last three years in this process. We kind of knew this was a. A, a year that we were kind of be pushing towards in the sense of being ready and being eligible for that uh, championship. You guys do lose defensive uh, player of the year, Jamie Hope and Kira Roberts, but man, you guys return a wealth of talent coming back. Yeah, we do. Um, Jamie and Kira are both uh, big losses. Jamie um, had one of the best years uh, in her, her career last year and replacing her defensively as far as what she did blocking wise as well as what she did even on the back row passing and and digging balls it will be tough um, no doubt but um, and then Kira outside um, was a, just a, a strong outside hitter someone that could uh, put a lot of pop on the ball and uh, another good player that uh, we've got to replace but uh, I feel good about our incoming class well, let's talk about some of the returnees all conference selections Kaylee Pyatt Taylor Jacobs um, kind of headlining the, those coming back um, and that's probably one of the focal points for probably some of the other teams that you're playing against but let's talk about this uh, returning class as a whole. Well we do I mean, we've got some great experience coming back um, six seniors this year uh, that helps a ton um, with just uh, having some good experience on the floor and two of those being uh, previous All-Americans uh, with uh, Kaylee Pyatt being, uh, being our setter that's uh, basically run the floor for the last several years um, Great, great player, uh, great athlete, um, and adds a lot to um, what we do on the floor. Um, she's our quarterback and does a great job at being that quarterback in a sense. Um, Taylor Jacobs, uh, obviously coming off a good year as well, um, being selected as an All-American this last year. And uh, what she brings is a, a versatile player across the front row, but has also uh, learned how to play the back row just as well and can hit out of the back row. So she's a player that uh, most teams will know where she's at and what she's capable of doing. Uh, and so um, those two players are huge for us, uh, along with those um, our Emily Dick, who has developed into a great middle force and has done some great things over the last couple of years, and really looking for her to have uh, one of her best seasons as well uh, going into her senior year. Uh, Emily Crawford was a transfer, uh, came in, had a shoulder injury right off the bat, uh, redshirted her, so now she's an older player as well. Uh, in her fifth year as an outside force and uh, is definitely playing well. Um, seen some good things out of her in the preseason here and she's just going to be a consistent player for us in, in that other outside hitting position. Um, along with her is um, some players that uh, are new last year in the sense of uh, Abby Bell uh, ended up being our libero last year and uh, tough position as a freshman but did an unbelievable job uh, of learning that position um, and uh, what she brings for us on serve receive is just huge consistency uh, always getting us in system uh, as well as what she can uh, do as far as reading on the defensive side um, she's a great great player great competitor uh, along with her is Bowie, uh, Courtney Bowie, who um, didn't play a, lot, a whole lot this last year, but did a lot in practice that people didn't see, and how she has developed in the offseason and where she's at right now. We're excited about what she's going to do for us this year, uh, probably on the, as on the right side, uh, opposite for us this year. Let's talk about the incoming class, a, a deep incoming class, and, and also uh, a good support and a compliment to your returnees. Uh, let's talk about uh, who all is incoming and, and kind of who highlights that class? Um, a big class. I mean, seven new seven new players. Um, obviously, right off the bat, uh, a junior college transfer in Lexi Matthews that uh, will come in and uh, be an impact player for us and helping to replace uh, Kira and losing her in that outside hitting position. So Lexi can, can be one of those players that can come in and compete for that spot. 
um, and has got some good experience. Um, she's still got three years of eligibility, but she's actually been in college two years, so an experienced player coming in. Um, along with her is uh, a freshman middle that um, out of Norman that uh, we really like, um, good size, uh, tremendous athlete, and has already shown some good signs of coming in and uh, figuring things out, but got some some room to grow uh, and what she's going to continue, how she's going to continue to develop over the next few years. Uh, along with her is a, another really, really good setter uh, that will help. Um, we'll start training and getting ready, hopefully for the future, but also be a great backup and be right there competing with KP at times as far as what she's uh, going to be capable of doing. Uh, I'm talking about Elise Berlin. Elise um, can also be a good defender as well. Uh, we've actually used her a little bit um, in the scrimmages as just a defensive player and is, is solid. So we're excited about what she's going to add to her squad. Speaking of defense, we got uh, Danny Chase, uh, which is another um, just great solid defender. One of those other players is going to be similar to Abby Bell in the sense of uh, how consistent she's going to be, uh, what she does defensively reading uh, and picking up different things out of the back row. Uh, excited about what she's going to add and uh, know she's going to be a great asset to the defensive side of the ball as well. Uh, and then along with those, there's a couple other girls, uh, another setter that we brought in, uh, Hannah Davis that will also be in there uh, working with the setters, uh, as well as a couple other uh, players that uh, will be players that will be working for the future. So we're excited about our incoming class. Let's talk about the schedule a little bit. Again, the first time you guys get to compete for that conference championship. So mm -hmm. obviously when you're looking at the schedule, that's one of the things you're kind of really excited about at the end. But you guys open up with Lubbock Christian, mm -hmm. a former Sooner Athletic Conference rival. You guys have got Washburn on the schedule, as well as a tough GAC schedule. Talk about what, you know, what you're looking through and some of the things you're looking forward to. Well, part of scheduling is um, getting yourself in a position where uh, you get the kind of competition that you're going to have within your conference, uh, and hopefully even some better competition than uh, than your conference at times because um, in the region that we compete in um, it's not easy it's tough and so uh, we've got to get out and, and play some teams that are going to test us early and give us a an idea of what um, what we're going to be looking at uh, down the stretch um, as we get ready for that conference tournament and those kinds of things. So we start out with uh, two solid tournaments right off the bat um, that are going to give us some good experience, but also going to be some games that are going to test us in the sense of how we're going to have to show up and play some good volleyball to win those, ball, win those games. But um, there'll be games that uh, will kind of start preparing us. And as we go through our schedule, uh, and get into our conference schedule. I mean, there's not there's not an easy game necessarily on our schedule. You have to show up each and every night. It's not like you can walk into a gym any night and go, okay, this is the game we should win regardless of how, how good or bad we play. That's not the case uh, in the conference that we play in or any conference for that matter. I mean, all these teams are equal in a lot of different ways. And so you've got to be ready to bring your A game and you can't just uh, show up and, and not be ready to play. All right, Coach, final question. Just a couple of goals that you guys have got set for this season. Well, obviously, uh, we, want to, we want to put ourselves in a good position um, to go into that conference tournament. So our, our conference uh, schedule and how we uh, play within our conference is that number one goal. We've got to be we've got to play well, we've got to win ball games there to put ourselves in a good position. Obviously, you got to be in that top six to even get into the tournament in a sense. So, um, but we hope to be in that upper two and three, you know, that's where we want to be at uh, kind of the end and be nice to be on top, but uh, there's a long season ahead of us. But uh, that's our number one goal. And then once we get to that tournament to be at a place where we're playing our best ball, um, that's what you always want at the end of the season to, to be playing your best. And so um, those are, that's a huge goal for us in the sense of what we've been trying to work towards for three years through that process is to put ourselves in a great position um, with the kind of team that we have, with the ability that we have to be able to go and, and hopefully win one right out of the shoes. But uh, it's a long season and we're, we're just excited about the opportunity this year. All right, Coach, appreciate taking the time with us. Talk to us uh, while on the Storm Report. Good luck this year. Don't forget, you guys can follow us on all of our social media aspects on Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Just search for snuathletics.com. Thanks again for watching the Storm Report.